OEF battery breaking machine. The scrap batteries are slowly fed. Which is the hydraulic crushing machine where the batteries are cut into four pieces using a hydraulic press. The acid present in the batteries are collected in the tank present under the hydraulic crushing machine. The collected acid is processed in the effluent treatment plant by slowly mixing with it. The crushed batteries are carried to the next stage with the help of a conveyor. The second stage of the battery breaking machine is the intelligence crusher. The broken pieces are further crushed into smaller pieces by using water as coolant medium. The smaller pieces are taken to the next stage with conveyor and the water is treated with effluent treatment plant. The third stage of the battery breaking machine is the secondary crusher. The smaller pieces of batteries are mixture of plastic, lead and other ferrous metals which may be present in the terminals of the batteries. The ferrous metals are separated using magnetic separator and then again crushed into further smaller pieces using the secondary crusher. Water is used as a coolant medium during the battery crushing process and is treated with effluent treatment plant. The lead metal with the plastic mixer after the secondary crusher is collected in the hopper filled with water. The plastic with lesser density will float on top of the water in the hopper. The plastic is separated from the water by using the screening process and the lead metal collected at the bottom of the hopper is taken to the shaking table with the help of screw conveyor. The solid lead metal and lead powder are further separated in the shaking table by mixing with water. The lead metal is directly melted in the pot furnace and the lead powder is smelted in the rotary furnace. Effluent Treatment Plant The ETP is designed for 8 KLT capacity in one shift operation. Equalization Tank the effluent washings from the process maximum quantity of 8 KLT will be gravitized into the proposed equalization tank for batch treatment. This tank has a storage volume of 3 days. The effluent will be further pumped out into the neutralization tank for batch treatment. pH is corrected by addition of lime. This tank will be fitted with mechanical froculator with paddles both for pH correction and to facilitate good flock formation. Here, coagulants like alum, polyelectrolytes are added to ensure good flock formation and lime for neutralization. The effluent will be further pumped out into the settling tank for settlement of precipitates. Pre-filterization tank final pH adjustment tank. The overflow from the primary settling tank can be collected in a pre-filtered effluent sump of maximum 24 hours capacity wherein the final treated effluent will be corrected for pH and is further pumped into a dual medium filter for further polishing the treated effluent and for removal of suspended solids and residual trace metals. The filled medium will separate any further solid present in the water. The final treated effluent will be pumped for distribution back into the process after blending with raw water if required as makeup water. The available retention time for holding effluent is around 3 days, hence adequate.